Hi there, this is Mark McRae, and today I want to talk to you about a man who lived hundreds and hundreds of years ago and was born in 1544 BCE and wrote one of the most famous military books in history. His name was Sun Tzu, and he wrote a book called The Art of War, or rather it's a collection of his quotes and thoughts that have, were attributed to him. And he was a Chinese general, strategist, and philosopher. And one of the things he wrote about um, in, and, and what studied a lot is his strategy over numbers. And the quote is, in the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. So I thought we'd look at that a little bit today, because people have been studying his writings for hundreds of years, both in business and military experts, because he's widely ad admired. And if you think about it, you know, strategy over numbers. And what he was trying to say there, that having a superior strategy often outweighs having superior numbers or resources. In other words, a well-planned approach can be more effective than sheer force or quantity. Another part of that uh, it would be understanding the situation, right? It's incredible to me how many people, particularly businessmen, don't take the time to thoroughly understand the situation that they're trying to deal with. So, you know, to make a strategy work over numbers, the first step is to understand the situation or the chaos that you're involved in. Number three would be, and these are my 10 points that relate to his writing on strategy, planning. Sun Tzu always emphasized the importance of careful planning. This involved identifying a goal, understanding the resources available, and crafting a plan that optimized um, what he had available. Now, another thing I don't see many people do nowadays is intelligence gathering. So number four would be intelligence gathering. Gathering intelligence about the environment, um, the competitors, and the potential challenges is crucial. The more information you have, the better your strategy can be. Information gather, especially today in the world of chat GTP and Google Bard and all other different types of AI has never been easier um, than to get to get intelligence than it is right now. Five would be leveraging your strength. Sun Tzu taught that a successful strategy often evolves playing to one's strength. So if you can identify what you're good at and how those strengths can be leveraged. Number six would be mitigating weaknesses. Similarly, understanding and accepting your weaknesses um, and look for ways where they can't be taken advantage of. Um, and you've got to build that into your strategy. Number seven, and I think maybe one of the most important in all strategies is adaptability. So in the face of chaos, as Sun Tzu would say, Things can change rapidly, and an effective strategy must be adaptable, able to pivot based on changing circumstances. So it's kind of, um, you know, generals um, will often quote that, you know, every plan is great until you meet the enemy, or if you like the Mike Tyson quote, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. You've got to be adaptable in business. Opportunism, number eight. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. And what he meant by that, I think, is recognizes and seizing opportunities that may arise from the chaos. So when you're on the battlefield, when you're in business, and um, you might be going through uh, a stressful situation, something might be happening to your business, some event might have taken place, the government may have changed rules or regulation, is there an opportunity there? Efficiency. So a well-planned strategy should aim for efficiency, accomplishing the object with as few resources as possible. 
And that makes it, you know, the point about the strategy over numbers. So patience and timing. This is also something that people um, that I encounter a lot are very impatient. So a good strategy involves patience and timing. Knowing when to act and when to wait can make a difference between success and failure. And um, I see, you know, and when I say I see, I I work with a lot of different people. I mentor people. I work, have a lot of staff of my own. I have uh, various different businesses. And some people get so impatient. They have, for example, um, a marketing campaign. And think of that. It's almost like a military exercise. They want results instantly within 24 hours, within, you know, three days, four days, five days, when really something takes as long as it takes. You know, if you're going to execute a good campaign, it should be well resourced. There should be a strategy in place and you should have at least the patience to allow that to either succeed or fail. So those um, 10 points I've all, you know, I've taken directly from that one quote in the midst of chaos there is also opportunity and my interpretation of them if you like the Sun Tzu um, quotes and my interpretation of them leave me a comment give me some feedback and I'll do much more of them thanks for listening